Hello guys, welcome to Hit Madrid. Today we are going to be cooking egg fried rice. If this sounds a wee bit different to the rest of the video, it's because it's a voiceover. So, roll the intro and we'll get straight into it. <laughs> Right, so the first thing we're going to go over is the equipment that you will need. So, first of all, you need something to cook the things in, don't you? So, we're going to use a wok to fry the egg fried rice in. So, put that over there. We need some you know, medium sized pot to cook the rice in, with half fill with some water. We need a sieve, strain and clean the rice. We need a chef knife. You'll find it in a minute. We need a fork. A cup. Wooden spoon. Chopping board. And a fish slice. So the ingredients we will use for this dish will be so it's awesome. 75 grams of rice, one large egg, two spring onions, and sea salt. So, let's get straight in to preparing this. The first step you want to do is get your water in the boil. So first of all, you want to get your sea salt. Sea salt, and then you just put salt in your water. If you don't have sea salt, table salt will work just as well. That will do. Make sure your water is quite well salted. Next, when you like your burner or electric cooker or whatever, nut can hold maybe. Light it, then bring it to a boil, run cold. This will take the longest, trust me. So. While well, that's going on, we will get the rest of our things sorted. So, let's head back over to the counter. What we want to do is we want to get our rice and wash it. So, I'm going to head over to the sink in a minute, wash it, and they'll be back in a minute. So, I've washed my rice, so that we're going to back over the hob so we can then put it in our boiling water so it can cook. So our water is now boiling, so what we're going to do is take off our lid. Yes, your lid will be hot. And put in our rice. What rice that is. I ran a little bit more than I said the intro, because I'll kind of want a bigger portion for my dinner, so that's the reason I'm doing that. So be stupidly careful. Yeah, your water will just boil a little bit. All you want to do, as you get, what you want to do is get your lid back on. I'd recommend using some togs because your water will, your handle will be roasted, by the way. So yeah, we're going to back home to the countertop now, so that we can then get to prepping our bed and all that sort of stuff. So let's head back home to the counter. While your rice is cooking, what you want to do is get your spring onions, or green onions as they're known, and wash them I'm going to drop them so I'm just going to wash them and we'll be right back. So, green onions. Quick way to cut them would be to cut off the ends like that. Not want the ends, but these ends. Then we just want to cut them into small dices. So, so the knife do the work. So be stupidly careful. Get a fairly even dice, don't need to be too even. What you might find is even if they are, the better they actually are. You want the leaves as well, so that's additional flavour. You want the leaves as well. If you don't drop the leaves, then it's just a waste of uh, green onion. Green onions, prepped. What we're going to do now, out the side. So, you guys, semi final dice now, so next what you're going to do, get your cup and your egg. So, be right back. So, 
is what we're going to do now is we're going to crack an egg into the cup. This is awkward for me because I'm standing over the camera. So, say well done, Drew, for mastering this craft. What craft? I oh, know that's not not high. Just physics. Go up to the map, we've got that there, we must move it. That then. Next, we're going to do is check if the down fell. Just on that little tiny section. Just fine, especially if it doesn't hurt. So, next, I'm going to beat it like this. Literally, by like, like beating it like this. There you go. It's very, like, large eggs are best for this, but. You know, medium eggs will work just as well. In fact, I'm going to use two eggs because I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm going to the rest of the video class went into absolute tatters. Nice, good, solid crack. Don't mess about with it. And in. That's you. Next, he's going to beat the egg after this tonight. So, we'll just beat this other egg real quick. Look, the reason why you need to use the cup is just bare because it's got a little handle and hold it. Here. So that's everything prepared. So I will meet you when the rice is finished. So my rice is almost ready. How you can tell the uh, rice is ready is when it is soft. And the best way to check if your rice is ready is just the taste, really. Now that's my rice ready, so I'm going to get the strainer, head over to the sink, I'll drain it and then we'll be back in a sink. That's my rice strained, so now we're going to get ready to fry. First of all, we're going to grease our wok. So, what you want is a bit of normal vegetable oil in. You want to root it throughout the pan, so round, 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 round. Make the nothing sticks. Wipe that around. I find that works quite good. This is, we don't want it super greasy at ends, this is just to keep it stuff and sticking really, so. Probably put a little bit of oil on there, but there you go, listening. So, I'm just going to get all of it over here and we'll be back in a sec. Right, right, so now we're going to start frying. So, first of all, get your wok. Up to a ridiculously high heat. When it starts to settle, add the green onions. It's a pretty thin pan, this, so heat it up pretty quickly. That's a walk from the corner pan. Oh well. Right. So, let's so all get your beans, get a little bit of cook off. So I crop these just a little bit so anybody who really forgot to crop like the little leafy bits, just bend them. Cook these a bit. And after that, the time sensitive part begins. So, 
Good that I was just gonna like, point things. It's easy. Right, right, right. next. Things are the part begins. Rice and next egg. Now, what this is that you need to start moving. N, egg, N, and then move. Like you move it, circulate it throughout the whole rice for a bit. So then you, you stop moving, then it's going to turn into a bit of an omelette. We don't want that. That's, what some, that's something we don't want. So get everything in there and don't stop moving. Keep on moving and moving and moving. Set stuff for one second, no different rings. So keep it moving, and you'll be fine. Constant movement will then help it not come on all night. So that's not what you want. You want this nice stuff, right? There you go. Now come back when this is prepared. Right, now it's time for the best part of the whole video probably. The serving. So, I'm going to get your inside rice and just slide it onto the plate. Next, what you want to do then, get your soy sauce and then just drizzle it over. Nice Meat. Light soy sauce works a lot better than the dark soy sauce, so I'd re obviously recommend you use that. In fact, I'm running out of light, so I'm going to use a bit of dark. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this. So, bye!